everyone. Uh, I am Kelsey Van Fossen, our district Canvas coach, and I am here to show you how to create your Canvas account. So you may already be getting emails, uh, notifications from your um, child's teachers about grades or submissions or due dates. Um, this is because your account is automatically created from Infinite Campus and will be linked to your Infinite Campus account. Uh, for instance, if you're getting your notifications to an email address um, that is no longer active for you, if you change it in Infinite Campus, it will be updated in Canvas. Um, so the first thing is that you need to determine your password for Canvas. This will not automatically be the same as, as Infinite Campus, although you can set it to be that. So first, we're going to head to Canvas and set your password. From this page, you can click on Parent Guardian to automatically log in. However, if you're not already on this page, my favorite trick is to Google AASD Canvas, um, and that first link that pops up will automatically take you to the login screen. From here, you want to choose Parent Guardian, and then you are going to click Forgot Password. Now, this login is going to be your full email address, and it needs to be the exact same email address that you use for Infinite Campus. Once I have my login typed in, I am going to request my password. Now, it is important to remember that this may take up to 30 minutes, um, and you will want to check your clutter or your junk mail or whatever file it may have gone through. Um, if you wait a long period of time and you do not receive this email, please reach out to Help Desk or your building technology coaches, and we'll be able to help you with that. Now I'm going to head over to my email and show you what yours will look like. You will see an email from AASD Canvas LMS and it will say that you requested a confirmation of your password and you will need to click here to set a new password. You can type in whatever password you would like. Again, this can be the same as Infinite Campus, but it doesn't need to be. Once you have that password, you're going to update it and then you are going to log in with, again, your full email address and that new password. Once you've got that set, you can click login and then you will be able to see all of your students' courses. We'll talk more about all of these in a future video, but for right now, I want to show you one thing that we recommend you do right away. Once you're logged in, you can choose your account and you can choose notifications. This page will allow you to decide how and when you are notified about things that happen in Canvas. So Canvas defaults to quite frequently notifying you about things. You have four options. So you can choose to be notified right away when this thing happens, and it will show you um, where you will be notified. Uh, then you can choose to only send a daily summary, a weekly summary, or do not send me anything. So for each of these options, you will be, will be able to choose uh, how and when you are notified. Thanks.